Hey guys, it's Victoria and welcome back to Femhead. Today we're going to talk about bullet journals. Another year, another bullet journal, and I'm very excited. In college, I always used a planner. My life was the planner. It helped just keep everything organized and absolutely loved it. Right when I first graduated from college, I didn't have a need for a planner anymore, and so I stopped using one. And then when I started Femhead, I wanted a planner again, so I got a drugstore planner and I didn't like that. And then I got a fancy planner and I didn't like that. And around the same time that I got the fancy planner, I discovered the bullet journal system. It kind of stuck in my head that whole entire year. And so when it came around time last year for a new planner, I knew, right, I'm gonna give this a go. Now that it's November again, I've started another bullet journal. So I thought it would be fun to kind of compare last year's bullet journal to how I've started this year. Last year I started each month with a monthly kind of overview and I had the same thing this year. I love how just simple it is. I found that with other planners they have this like two page spread. This is what you think of when you think of a calendar. Like I didn't need that much room, I didn't need that much space. And I have found that just having it on a single page and each day just being a line has worked out really, really well for me. The only thing I've changed is kind of throughout my new bullet journal, I've taken out the two lines that underline each heading. I don't know, I just simplified it even more. The next page in my previous bullet journal was the content calendar, which is something I absolutely swear by. The content calendar has revolutionized Femhead and how I was able to organize and produce content. The next spread, it was a finance page. I have kept that, but I've kind of flip-flopped the order of it. This year I have two pages. Instead of having one page where I had in and out, so uh, income and then expenses, I've kind of changed the wording of it. So I have receive and give. I just wanted to take a positive spin on money and just I've been focusing a lot lately on my money mindset. <clears throat> and I just like those words instead of income and expenses. It makes you very conscious about the money you're spending because you have to write it down. You start to judge yourself for your purchases, but I like a positive way you're like I didn't really need that like and then when it comes around next time where you might have just thoughtlessly bought something you really think about it last year my next spread was a brain dump page I actually really really like the brain dump page I'm very particular about what goes on to my weekly spread which I'll show you in a minute there's a lot of stuff that's like floating around up in here things that need to get done or ideas are I have and I wanted a place to put that so that is my brain dump page and it is phenomenal and by the end of the year I got down to just one one page but this year I've decided to expand it back out to two pages and instead break it into categories so I can organize my thoughts even further that way so I have a category for future content ideas I have a category for to do's that don't necessarily belong on my weekly or daily spots a place where I will write down things I want to research and then I have a final it's kind of like a a brain dump of the brain dump just ideas I have so far I am loving that the next spread which I went back and forth on whether I should include it this year or not but ultimately I decided not to include it was the sparkly bit spread where I would write out my gratitudes for the day and I think gratitudes are very important I ultimately decided to create a separate gratitude journal and take that out of my bullet journal the next spread I had in November last year, but that I only kept one month was a weekly reflection. So I had it over two pages and I split it into four sections. I found that it was really just me repeating my gratitudes. And so there wasn't really any need for it. So I took it out. The next spread is my weekly overview. And this is where the magic happens. Back when I used to work at the restaurant, it was very helpful to be able to write down when I was gonna work on kind of a weekly overview. But I found that I don't really need that anymore. So I took that out and I just made that whole space into like a goals to do space. And I've kept the rest of it pretty much the same. I find that if I have something that I'm gonna do on a certain day, I'll just write that on that day instead of feeling like I need to have it in two places. So that's kind of the layout I have so far. It's super simple, super easy. Okay, so let's get into the accessories I use. I chose the Rhodia Dot Journal again. This year, besides my journal, I kind of use four tools. To set up spreads, I use all of them, but on a day-to-day -day basis, I just use one pen. So my daily pen that I'm currently using is the Foray Style Mark Fine 0.5 millimeter, and I just like how fine it is. I like really fine pens for writing in my bullet journal. The felt pen that I used 
used to use that ended up being too thick that I now use to create my fake calligraphy is the Paper Mate Flare Medium Tip Pen. And then finally, I don't really use it that much anymore, but sometimes I still do. I have a mechanical pencil. And finally, my newest purchase, this tiny, perfectly sized 15 centimeter ruler. You can put it inside your bullet journal. And also I have this like pencil pen pouch that I take with me when I travel and this one fits in and my old one doesn't. This is from when I was a kid. It's so hard to travel with. It doesn't even fit in my drawer properly. Like it has to go in at an angle, but I really like straight lines. That's why this one is just so much better. I found that just having a few things is my like Goldilocks mix for bullet journaling. And it just works out so great for me and I absolutely love it. I wish I would have discovered bullet journaling sooner. It feeds my soul. You guys, I love bullet journaling. That's kind of what I have to say, the comparison between the two. I love bullet journaling. As I've said four million times this video, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like bullet journaling, comment down, down below. What's your favorite aspect of it? What's a favorite spread of yours? If you prefer a different type of system, I know the Filofax system is very popular as well there's just something for everyone out there isn't there so thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this video don't forget to subscribe and like the video and i'll see you in my next video bye